But uh, how did you all get your later. first? Well, the first record we did was members of the organization, a uh, road manager by the name of Marty Bryant, and the guitar player name was Robert Douglas, and they wrote your big girl now. Oh, okay. We remember that one, don't you? <laughs> and then uh, after that, uh, the record company notified Tommy Bell and Linda Creed from out of Philadelphia, who worked with Gamble and Huff, and I had a meeting with them, and that's when all the new music started. You know? Okay, but we can't let that slide by, because that's such a hot song. Anybody remember You're a Big Girl Now? Can I hear it? I thought somebody was going to start crooning, especially, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You know, it's what happens, well, of course, you know, we, we went through this on the phone when uh, I did the preliminary interview with Russell and it was like every time we mentioned a song, regardless of who wrote it or who recorded it, we had to get a, a tune going, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah. So, okay, so then uh, after your Big Girl Now, then you said... Um, uh, we got with Tommy Bell. Okay. And the first product that came from Tommy Bell was Stop Look and Listen. Yeah. I mean, I'm hearing music as you speak, okay. Yeah. And uh, after Stop Look and Listen was your everything. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Then Stone in Love With You. <laughs> <laughs> then Bet You Why, Golly Why. Okay, wait a minute. So <laughs> what did it, I mean, did you, did you have any clue that all these songs were just going to jettison into the stratosphere like they did? No, I had no idea about the longevity, but I did have an idea about how great the music was. You know? uh, when I first started working with Tommy Bell and Linda Creed, we would go into the office and they would, you know, run the song down for me to learn. And uh, I remember on Bet You By Golly Wild, Linda Creed would write down some lyrics. She'd come in the room where me and Tommy was working at and she'd sing part of it. Tommy said, no, no, that's not it. So Linda would go back in her office. At the same time, Linda had all her kids running around in her <laughs> office too. It was a nursery, you know, but Linda was a very talented woman. She came back in about 15 minutes later and when she sang the next line of it, he knew that that was wow. the song. And so did I. Uh, it became my, my favorite song. 